All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about how to integrate GitHub Copilot inside PyCharm so you can get AI powered code suggestion right as you type, right? So pretty simple and straightforward. First, you have to go to your files and you have to go to your settings, right? Files, settings. And if you are on Mac, you have to go to your PyCharms and then preference and then plugins. So I'll go to plugins here. And in my plugins, I'll go to marketplace. I'll search for, let's write Copilot, right? Click on install, let it install. And then your VDI would ask for a restart, right? So do that restart and I'll be right back. So restart your IDE, it's coming up. All right, so now you see you have your Copilot. If you see here, you have your Copilot here. The next thing you want to do is log in to your Copilot using your GitHub account. So I already have a GitHub account. So this prompt would be open. You have to copy this device code, just copy and open, click on this button. It would open a GitHub page like this, and it would ask you to activate it. So you have to log in with your account, give the required permissions, paste the code that you have copied, and you are done from here. Right. So it says there was an authorization that was requested and this is done. I'll say authorize GitHub Copilot. Congratulations. Now, if I head back to my PyCharm, it says successfully logged in to GitHub. Right. Now, what's the use of this? Now, when I am on this page, let's start the Copilot session. You come to this button, you say open chat. And this is the file that we are looking Ellie dropdown.py. Right. Now, I'm going to just say, explain me what does this file do right so if you see here it says the file is selenium based python script that demonstrate how to interact with html drop down element select on a web page so in short it's going to give you a summary of everything whatever is here so i can ask for help i can ask for writing a custom code it would help me side by side in this ide itself i don't have to go to google and search for it right now another thing that i want to show you is say you are going to write define fibonacci right so you don't have to write anything you just give the function name if it's a known one if it knows how it has to be done it would write the code for you you don't have to write the logic here right so this is something that i wanted to talk about today i'll see you in the next one bye bye